So, Canon has just announced development of the 1DX Mark III and holy crap, this camera looks incredible. Like, oh my God. I mean, for the last few years, Canon has been releasing some disappointing cameras like the EOS R, disappointing. EOS RP, disappointing. Even the 5D Mark IV was a disappointing release and everyone thought that Canon was just gonna continue in that vein. Typical Canon, just release cameras with incremental updates, but nope. Canon has well and truly brought it this time. It looks like the spec wars that Sony started has properly woken up Canon because the 1DX Mark III looks amazing in terms of the specs. Let's just run through some of the specs that this camera has and uh, some of the specs that's been announced. First of all, it's a 1D series camera. So this camera is gonna be a beast. I mean, the 1D series cameras from Canon are pretty much the Nokia of the camera industry. They just carry on ticking. This is one of the things that Sony has a bit of an issue with. I mean, a lot of their mirrorless cameras, yes, they're very good, but they're not very durable. Like I'm shooting on the A7R Mark III at the moment. And honestly, I'd say that the 5D Mark IV is way more durable than this thing, but that's another discussion anyway. The 1D, the 1 dx Mark III, that camera, it's gonna be weather sealed to hell and it's just gonna be ridiculously durable. So you can just carry on shooting whenever. In terms of resolution, there hasn't been anything confirmed as far as I'm aware, but I did see some rumors going around about Canon producing a 30 megapixel camera or uh, having a 30 megapixel sensor in this particular camera. So if that's the case, and that's gonna be amazing because this camera is has been announced to be able to shoot 20 frames per second with the mechanical shutter. Nothing like that exists on the market. This is a first because even Sony doesn't have that. Sony has a 10 frames per second when it comes to mechanical shutter on, the, on their A9 Mark II. That's half the, the shutter speed of the Canon 1DX Mark III. That's amazing. Yes, Sony can do 20 frames per second with the electronic shutter, but electronic shutters can introduce things like banding, rolling shutter, and just a bunch of issues, especially when you're shooting in uh, artificial lighting scenarios. So it's not an ideal situation, not the ideal camera for a lot of professionals, but Canon has just released or announced the camera, I should say, with 20 frames per second with the mechanical. And if it's got 30 megapixel resolution, then they've already beaten Sony in that regard. Canon's already ahead. The other thing is autofocus. Now, Canon's 1D series autofocus has always been top notch. I don't think anyone has any major complaints when it comes to Canon's autofocus system. And this one in uh, on the sensor, it's gonna have autofocus coverage of about 100% vertical and 90% uh, horizontal. So you're gonna be able to find your subject regardless. I think if I remember, it's 525 autofocus points. So autofocus wise, this camera is just gonna be a beast. It's just gonna kill it. It's just gonna get you the result. And that's something that I've experienced with the 1DX Mark II. And I'm assuming this is gonna be way better than the 1DX Mark III. Video, holy crap. This is where, this is where Canon has really shocked everyone. Because over the last few years, Video hasn't really been Canon's main focus. They've been releasing cinema cameras like the C200, which is a brilliant camera. But oh my God, Canon has, I mean, Canon has surprised me. Let's put it that way. Nothing like this exists. There is no DSLR on the market right now or announced that has these kinds of specs. Let's just run through them. 4K 60p, 10 bit, 422 internal with C-Log, internal. You don't need anything external. This does it all internal. And it's got a good codec as well. It's, got, it's using the uh, high efficiency codec, which means that the file sizes aren't gonna be ridiculously huge like they are in the 1DX Mark II and the 5D Mark IV right now. So video, holy crap. And, and to top it off, this camera now shoots raw or will shoot raw. I think when it comes to video producers and people who want to shoot high quality video, we might have the best camera that we can shoot with and that might be the 1DX Mark III. Sony in the last few years has been slipping. They started off this spec war with the mirrorless and they were, they were the first company that produced a camera, a mirrorless camera, which had 4K, uh, 30p using the full width of the full frame sensor. They were the only camera underneath under a certain price point that allowed you to shoot like that 
and they have been really falling behind in the last few years because there is no Sony camera that shoots 4K 60p. There just isn't. Like, you can't buy a Sony E-mount camera mirrorless. Well, maybe, I don't know, maybe there's a cinema camera. You can't buy a Sony A7 or an A9 series camera or an A6600 or an A65, whatever they're called. You can't buy any camera that Sony's producing right now in, that, in those lines that shoots 4K 60p. Canon has offered 4K 60p since the 1DX Mark II and now we're getting raw recording in the 1DX Mark III. <clears throat> Sony is falling behind in my books and Canon is really, really coming up now because the A9 Mark II, oh my God, that was one disappointing camera. That is one frustratingly disappointing release and Canon is taking, Canon is properly taking advantage of that. So, I mean, the sentiment online right now is that the king is back and uh, yeah, definitely feeling it. Anyway, I'd love to know what you think of the 1DX Mark III and this announcement from Canon. The specs look incredible. I'd love to know what your thoughts are. Hit the like button, subscribe, share this video, and I hope to see you all in the next one. Thank you.